we want to solve the given equation. For the first step, we will clear the fractional exponent from the equation by raising both sides of the equation to the power of the denominator of the rational exponent. Remember, when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. We will begin by cubing both sides of the equation. So we cube the left side, and we cube the right side. And again, notice how the denominator of the rational exponent is three. And now on the left, because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. But if itself, we can write three as a fraction with a denominator of one, and notice how we have a common factor of three between the numerator and the denominator that will simplify to one. So this three simplifies to one, and so does this three, leaving us with two times one or two. The left side simplifies to the quantity x minus three squared. On the right side, we have four cubed, which is equal to four times four times four, which is 64. For the next step, we need to undo the squaring or the exponent of two. We can do this by taking the square root of both sides of the equation or by raising both sides of the equation to the reciprocal power of two, which is one half. Let's use rational exponents and raise both sides of the equation to the one half power. But before we do this, notice how we are squaring the left side and we know when we square a positive, the result is positive, but also when we square a negative, the result is positive, which means this equation is going to have two solutions. To make sure we get both solutions, when we raise both sides of the equation to the one half power, we need to include a plus or minus on the right. Whenever the exponent here is even, we are going to have two solutions, and therefore, we will need a plus or minus on the right. So again, we'll raise both sides of the equation to the reciprocal power of two, which is one half. We'll do the same on the right, but also include a plus or minus. And now on the left, we multiply the exponents. Two times one half is one, giving us the quantity x minus three equals on the right, we have plus or minus 64 raised to the one half power is equal to the square root of 64, which is eight. And now to solve for x, we add three to both sides. Simplifying, negative three plus three is zero, giving us x equals, on the right side we have positive three plus or minus eight, and now to determine the two solutions. The first solution we'll call x sub one is equal to three plus eight, which is 11. And the second solution we'll call x sub two is equal to three minus eight, which is negative five. So these are the two solutions to the equation, but before we go, let's verify these solutions using the calculator. Let's first substitute 11 for x back into the original equation, which gives us the quantity 11 minus three raised to the power of two thirds which is equal to four, and now let's try x equals negative five. This would give us the quantity negative five minus three, raised to the power of two thirds, which also gives us positive four. So this does verify we have two solutions to the given equation. I hope you found this helpful.